Hey guys, how's it going? It's Tom from EverydayGamers.com and I am here today with a review on the Contour Designs Flick. Probably Contour Designs most popular case for the iPod Touch or the iPhone 3G. Uh, like you know already, I have the iPod Touch 2G. That's what I have. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I've used the product already. I've gotten a review for you. I know exactly what I think of the product. But let me go ahead and open it up and I'll show you what you get with this if you're not already aware of what you get with one of Contour Designs products. Now first of all you'll notice that the package is kind of uh, minimalistic. Very nice design though to the package. It gives you know a good display of the product and exactly what you get. Um, but let me first before I pull this out I'll just kind of go over the box with you. Like I said, it's Contour Designs, and they make a wide variety of cases for the iPod Touch and for the iPhone. Now this one here, like I said, is for the iPod Touch second generation. You see that on the front. The nice thing about this product is the way that it's designed. And uh, the, that's the way it gets its name. It's uh, basically got this bottom half which flicks back. And it's kind of hard to make out that picture right now, so you'll have to just... Trust me, you know, right now I'll show you when I open up the product and put it on. But this is a slider case, and the bottom part flicks back. And then, basically, it makes it accessible so that you can actually put this into a dock. And it just gives you access to the whole bottom part, which a lot of cases, whether it's silicone or, or you know, depending on what it is, they don't give you that ability to dock it up with the case when you've got to remove the entire case. So that's a nice feature with this case. Um... And then everything else, you know, pretty much, it just gives you a couple pictures here. It shows you the different things with it. Uh, shows you that it's a slide case here. Shows you that you can flick back that piece there. And then shows you, you know, the docking ability with that. Now, Contour Design's website is www.contourcase.com. This product here, I believe that I'm right when I say this, retails for $34.99 which you can get at the Apple Store, you can get from various number of places. I believe you can even order it right off of Contour's website, uh, which I'd recommend. I mean, their delivery was quick enough, and, uh, you know, they have a good product, uh, good customer service, really nice layout to their website. So if you want to get the product, you can go directly through them, and it'll just save you a couple steps rather than having to go out to the store. Let me go ahead and get to the uh, the unboxing of this, though, and show you the product and let you know what I think of it. Now first of all, if you're not already familiar with Contour's products, the one thing you'll find out quickly is that they don't include anything with, with the product. You get the product you're paying for, you get the, case, the box that it comes in, you get this little tiny fake iPod skin or cardboard cutout, whatever you want to call it, and then you get the instructions. That's it. You don't get anything extra, no microfiber, no screen shield. This is what they do. And, you know, there's no problem with that because you already know that. Now, if you're expecting to buy this and, you know, you're used to other case manufacturers out there giving you those items, you might be a little disappointed. However, you know what? It's not a big deal to me. It's not a deal breaker for me. Especially when I tell you a little bit more about the product and what I thought about it. So let me show you. you got the English, English instructions over here. And uh, it's pretty simple. I mean, not that I even read the instructions. But uh, let me just tell you it really quick. It says, well, one, insert iPod. Slide, in, slide iPod into the case. Snap bottom portion of the case around corners of the iPod. Two, remove iPod. Um, detach bottom section of the uh, of case from both corners of the iPod, slide iPod out, and three dock iPod. Detach detach bottom section of case from both corners of iPod, dock iPod. Very basic instructions. Um, you know they include pictures in case you're you know not able to read. You're illiterate, um, so you can file the pictures, or you can just do like I did and put the product on. Now here's what I'm going to warn you really quick and I found this out right off the bat with this product. Now when I went to install this product I had an invisible shield from Zag on here. Now I don't know if you guys have seen any other reviews. I do believe that some other reviews have covered this with some of Contour's 
products, if you've got a shield on there, if you've got a skin on, on your iPod, it's not going to work. Or your iPhone, whatever it is, it's not going to work. And I found that out real quick. So, you know, first thing I did is I went, I opened this up, and I started to slide my iPod Touch into the case. And as I slid it in, it just became tighter and tighter, and it was really, really difficult to get into the case and I'm glad I don't have that on video because there was a lot of uh, angry words coming out of my mouth and and I was thinking this product is not a good product at all right off the bat I thought this is junk I don't want this um, I'll just give it away to somebody who, who would want it and what I finally realized is I got my, my, my iPod out of here and it took a lot of struggle and almost to the point where I thought I was going to break the case and I was ready just to even chop the case off itself I finally got it off I noticed that there were some lines in the uh, in the invisible shield. So, you know, after doing all that, and and what happened was the case ended up peeling off of the edges. So I just took the invisible shield off, and I started feeling in here a little bit. And they were telling me that you know I've heard a lot of people doing reviews on this saying there's like a rubber guide in here. Well, to me, these don't feel like rubber, and maybe mine's a little bit different than other products out there. I don't know. This feels a little bit harder. So I was really scared at that point to put my iPod Touch back in here. I was afraid I was going to get it scratched up. I've already had that happen in my first Gen 1. The thing I'm trying to avoid this time, and this is why I'm going through all these cases, is avoid getting this scratched up. I paid 300 bucks for this. I don't want to get it scratched up. You know what I mean? This is just... It's nice to have the chrome looking all shiny. Um, anyways, so I was really hesitant to actually try this again. But... I said, you know what, they sent me out the product, I'm going to actually review it, I'm going to see what happens. There was one piece that was sticking up a little bit too much, I took my, my knife and I actually just kind of trimmed that down a little bit. So, very nervous, uh, you know, about putting it back in here, I went ahead and did it anyways. But let me go ahead and get on with the review, and uh, I'll finish this up, try to do it in three minutes, that's all we have left. Anyways, you'll see that you have a cutout here for the uh, volume rocker. You've got up here, it's closed, but this is actually like a rubber piece here. So it makes hitting that home switch easy. The one thing I notice is that this thing here has a tendency to fall out. Right now it's stuck in there pretty good. Well, when I first got the product, it would fall out a lot. And uh, I don't think that there would be a problem with just leaving that out. I think that it would actually function fine. But, you know, you don't want to do that. And uh, what I was talking about with that flick design, and I'll show you from the side here, is that piece there flicks back. And then you slide in the iPod that way. So let me go ahead and slide in the iPod Touch that way. And uh, I've just been very careful every time I do this because it does still scare me a little bit. But I'll tell you that I've used this case more than any other case for my iPod Touch. And I guess the reason why I've used this case so much is because I really like just the way it's very... It, it ba Basically, you don't feel like you've got anything on here. You know, and... Uh, Snaps, in, snaps up here, snaps up there, the case is on there. You just don't feel like you have anything on there. There's no bulk to it. And I'll show you later on what I use in conjunction with this because I still like to have a little bit more protection around here. Now, this does have a little bit of a raised edge, which you're probably not going to be able to see. I mean, you could maybe tell there. So even if you lay this on the table, you're not going to get the uh, chrome bezel that's showing sh um, scratched up. Now, I like the way it frames out that chrome. So it looks like it's got, you know, kind of like this black frame around it. Very nice looking. You got the whole front open here. The only piece that really isn't protected is your um, your docking piece down here. This is all exposed, so you know it's a little bit concerning, or you know a little bit disconcerting. You know it would worry me a little bit, but like I said, this has actually become my favorite case for my iPod Touch. I'm really glad I gave it a second chance. I'm really glad, despite all my hang-ups with the way it, it destroyed my invisible shield that I still tried it. Don't, if you're going to buy this product, don't expect to be able to use any kind of shield with this. Don't expect to be able to use any kind of, you know, protective casing, you know, in conjunction. This is, you're going to use this and only this, and that's all you really need. All the protection comes from this. Now, there's no shock protection with it, um, you know, but you lay this on a table, you can move it around, you're not going to get the back of this scratch up. And then that's my main thing. This gives you all the protection in the world. I love the product. Definitely recommend it. Check out their website. Like I said, it's 
contourcase.com. And uh, once again, this is Tom from EverydayGamers.com. Make sure you stay tuned. I'm going to have a written review up for this on our website. Everybody, have a good day.